Hello everyone, welcome to Bharti IAS Institute. This is me, Sayyash Shujatullah. Today, we'll be discussing about chapter number 2 of Telangana Economic Survey. Okay, obviously, as you all know that on our YouTube channel, I have already completed chapter number 1 uh, of Telangana Economic Survey. It was covered in two parts, part 1 and part 2. Please watch that also because a lot of facts are there in that. So, we are now dealing with uh, chapter number 2. Uh, that is macroeconomic trends part one remember this point this is a part one and those students who, who, who wants the pdf of all the uh, chapters not the direct pdf of the economic uh, outlook obviously well, however we are reading okay the slides however are made in the same way if you want to uh, what purchase a pdf the pdf purchase link is given in the description so you can uh, purchase from that that is all about it let us start our lecture with uh, macroeconomic trends okay chapter number two telangana economic survey okay so some introduction was given in the economic survey with regard to how these macroeconomic trends actually uh, happened uh, over a period of time in 2022 to 2023 okay so you might be aware of a normal uh, concept of macroeconomic trends macroeconomics is nothing but uh, where we study a larger area where we study a larger phenomena then we call it as uh, uh, macroeconomics it also includes a larger impact like poverty cannot be restricted to if a poverty is there in a country it cannot be restricted to one factor or five to six factors it is a very big phenomena that's why poverty unemployment, inflation, national income, per capita, not, national, not per capita, national income, uh, these are all like uh, the performance of the economy, all these comes under the concept of macroeconomic trends. So in this chapter also we'll talk about what, how our GSDP of the Telangana state has performed over a period of time. We'll also look into what is the performance of agriculture and subsectors and which one is the highest, which one is the least contributor within the agriculture sector. In the same way, we'll study about the industry and we'll study about the service sector also. We'll see the trends, we'll see the ranking one, ranking two. We'll also frame them in a chronological order. So questions can be asked in any manner. In the same way, I will be discussing each and every aspect about it. So, so as I told you that some introduction was given in the economic survey. Let us see that uh, introduction. It clearly says that 2022 to 2023 has been marked by relative slowdown in the growth. Because here in a survey that they have mentioned, the impact of COVID has not completely uh, eliminated uh, from the country. That is what it means. The slowdown which uh, was seen in 2021 to 2022 uh, also continued in 2022 to 2023. The because of COVID. That is what it was saying. And more so ever, apart from the COVID impact, there was, there was also a uh, like uh, Russia's invasion on uh, Ukraine. So because of that war also. So what happened? Global supply chain. Global supply chain is nothing but, uh, just imagine a point here. Uh, we, basically the country's imports, uh, the chips of the mobile phones or the laptop chips are there, semiconductor chips are there from Taiwan, China. Now China is a one of the good ally of Russia. Now Russia is fighting with Euro Ukraine and China is a part of like China is supporting what Russia. Now what happens? NATO don't support what US and the Germany, France, uh, US led whatever the West European countries are there. They don't support Russia. Okay. Then what happens here is uh, in retaliation uh, us imposes sanctions on what russia then russia imposes sanctions on uh, what i say is that europe uh, europe and usa so in that way what happens sanctions are nothing but asking some countries to uh, to do few things and not to do few things that is only called as sanctions so wherever us is having their power on the countries they will say that don't supply this and this to what russia and wherever Russia is having the power to influence some uh, countries geo, uh, geographically, then uh, that, that countries will not export anything, anything to that uh, European and US led countries. So that is why it is, uh, it is like global supply means from the raw material to the finished good, the good is going to different different countries and coming to uh, any of the country. You know, that got disrupted because of Ukraine, uh, Russia, Ukraine war also. Right. So that is what it has started with. It clearly said that 
disturbances in the global supply chain why it happened i told you already decrease in consumer demand today also okay when we are also my and my friends are planning a trip to uh, jammu and kashmir so we are the first uh, aspect that is coming into our mind is cost cutting okay so we are actually thinking that where can we cut the cost getting my point here so basically today also the impact of covid is being seen on our salaries we don't see much hike we don't see much progress in our growth with regard to jobs we don't see much progress with regard to our promotional levels right companies are also increasing the salaries to a minimum to minimum percentages so when the salaries are not increasing we cannot generate demand we cannot invest more we cannot buy more right so consumers as because they are aware of the situation that they are having very less amount of money with them they are also not doing purchases to the extent that the country is desiring that is why consumer behavior with regard to investment has changed here that led to decrease in consumer demand increase in global inflation from 6.4% in 2021 to 9.1% in 2022 you can see that when the global supply chain supply is one of the cost to push inflation will happen when the supply is disrupted okay so when supply is disrupted when raw materials are not moving in a similar fashion at a similar speed than before the ukraine and russia war before the covid when the raw materials are not moving when the human resources are not moving in a uh, at a rate at a speed that is desired then what will happen the production will also slow down and slow down in the production will ultimately lead to what less availability of uh, food or uh, good and services right or wrong yes so less availability will translate into what inflation or not yes so because of covid and russia ukraine war the inflation in many countries have risen from global inflation has risen from 6 to 6.6 percent to 9.1 percent and uh, russia ukraine war is also one of the reason okay of slowdown in economic growth okay lockdown in some parts of the world okay have led to contraction in growth contraction in growth is nothing but when you are having when a country is going with 7% growth rate it slowly come down to 6 uh, 5.5 5 this is called as contraction in growth expansion is growth means when the percentage of growth rate is increasing so because of these reasons okay telangana state has also seen slow down in growth rate means growth rate year on year did not jump very good did not increase very good it was little bit on a slower side than which was there before the covid okay before the covid you can imagine that economic growth could be like just imagine this in this way 6.4 then it became 6.8 then it became 7.1 before covid this was a jump of like to 0.2 percent or 0.4 percent jump is there but after covid what happened uh, it is very very less jump is there 0.1% only so we have grown after covid also but the thing is that not to the extent that was there before the covid so in the examination they may ask you which one of the following reason has led to slow economic growth rate of telangana economy according to uh, socio economic outlook 2023 or a survey whatever it is so they may mention like this according to socio economic outlook what are the reasons for the slow economic growth rate of telangana gsdp these op- this could be given as options okay right the world economic outlook which is a report published by international monetary fund in january 2023 they also said that global economy is likely to grow by 2.9 percent only in the year 2023 because it has declined that the previous year means 2021 to 2022 what was the growth rate okay from that growth rate it is decreased in 2022 to 2023 and it is hardly growing at a rate of 2.9 percentage okay then with respect to inclusivity in growth and as per national family health survey 2019 to 21 okay report the state ranks first among all states along with tamil nadu and kerala in terms of in, in terms of equitable income distribution with a gini coefficient of 0.10% okay remember this point there is a curve called as lorenz curve lorenz curve actually gives you inequalities of income and wealth okay and you also have this particular uh, the statistical 
statistical representation of Lorentz curve is called as what? Gini coefficient. You might have learned this in statistic. Okay. In your static concept. 0.10, please remember, they may ask you in the examination, what is the Gini coefficient of Telangana in terms of inclusivity according to latest economic survey like that they may ask you the question 0 0.10 they may mention 0 0.20 0 0.30 so make sure that it is 0 0.10 and they may also ask you along with Telangana which among the following states has been ranked number one okay like that they may ask you Telangana Tamil Nadu Kerala Telangana UP Delhi Telangana AP Gujarat like that they may ask you three states could be given in one options so be, make sure that along with Telangana Tamil Nadu and Kerala has also been ranked number one in terms of inclusivity nothing but uh, equitable distribution of income then let us start our topic GSDP at current prices you might be aware of the fact that what is the meaning of current and constant prices so I will not go into the conceptual discussion of it provisional Advanced estimates. Provisional, whenever you come across the word provision, that is nothing but actual. Means what actually we have realized. How much actually we have performed. Exact figures are called as what? Provisionals. So provisional advanced estimates in 2022 to 2023 said that nominal GSDP stands at rupees 13.27 lakh crore. Please remember this particular value. Okay, so GSDP at current prices is how much? Which is also called as current prices means nominal only. You might be aware of this fact. So GSDP at nominal current prices, whatever you say, stands at 13.27 lakh crore. And we have grown across at nominal terms. We have grown with regard to the percentage. How much? 15.6%. Whereas India's nominal GDP has increased by 15.4%. So basically, Telangana's growth rate is more than India's average growth rate. Okay, because Telangana's growth rate is 15.6 percentage at nominal terms, whereas India's growth rate is 15.4 percent. If you are remembering this point, that is enough. In the examination, they may ask also ask you the statement. First statement they may give that Telangana GSDP uh, stands at 12, 13.27 lakh crore. Second statement they say that it grown by 15.6%. Then third statement they may uh, ask that Telangana's GSDP growth rate at nominal terms is uh, lesser than India's average growth rate. So find the incorrect statement. The third is incorrect here. First and second are anyhow true. Why? Because Telangana's growth rate is better than India's growth rate. Okay. Nominal growth rate exceeded that of India's by 1.1 percentage basically 1% in 2014 to 15 increased to 4.6% by 2019 to 20. It clearly says that Telangana is jumping with regard to what its growth rate. Okay, you just imagine in 2014 to 15, we are growing our the difference between India's average and Telangana is only 1%. Now, the difference between India's nominal growth rate and Telangana's nominal growth rate is 4.6 percent. Means, uh, at 2014, uh, India and Telangana, if you see, are like very much near, okay, with regard to the difference. By 2022, we are like very far and India's average is coming very slow, okay. Then, after 2019-20, India also, Telangana also decreased due to pandemic. Then again, 2021, we had a V-shaped recovery curve. V-shaped recovery curve is very easy to understand. Okay, please remember this point here. So this is like 0% growth rate, you can imagine. This is 2% growth rate, 4%, 5%. Okay, 0 2% growth rate, 4% growth rate, 5% growth rate. This is time. January, February, March, April, May, June. Just remember this one. It is easy for you to understand this way also. So before pandemic, uh, happily Telangana is, Telangana or India is growing at this growth rate. Okay, January happened, February happened, March happened. Suddenly March 20, March 24, uh, Modi ji announced lockdown. So what happened? Our growth rate came down like this, right or wrong? Okay, March, April like that. Then when the uh, lockdown was lifted, when unlock one, unlock two happened, 
so we did not grow slowly like two uh, percent one percent we did not grow like this we actually with along with india india and also telangana and other states have also similar fashion of growth rate means how much faster we came down that much faster we accelerated our gsdp okay so gsdp at current prices what actually they are saying that our gsdp at nominal terms is around 13.27 lakh crore and it enjoys a growth rate of 15.6 percent which is better than india's growth rate which stands at only 15.4 then nominal growth rate of india and telangana if we compare in 2014 to 15 there is only one percent difference was there but when it comes to uh, latest economic survey 2019 to 20 it became four percent then after pandemic period we decreased and after pandemic india telangana increased their economic uh, growth in economy through a v-shaped recovery curve in 2022 to 2023 telangana nominal gsdp was 15.6 percent okay already we have seen this the lower growth rate in this year can be attributed to two major factors okay the lower growth rate may be attributed to two major factors first of all as we have already learned global supply chain got disrupted that's why higher inflation is one of the reason okay supply chain bottleneck still after pandemic many of the uh, industries has been closed down so again new investment should come in they should establish they should start production okay then uh, natural calamities was also there inflation was also there import export problems were also there okay that is the reason what happened is supply bottlenecks bottleneck is nothing but uh, our water bottle will have a small neck no that is called as bottleneck means everything was very good till covid but after covid what happened it just got stuck it just got stuck that is called as bottleneck okay lower demand as we have already discussed that we and every country was cutting down their demands okay so why in this year the growth rate was lower is nothing but attributed to higher inflation supply bottlenecks and lower demand make sure that you are aware of these three important reasons because what is there in the economic survey that only you have to uh, put uh, our bubble in the examination remember this point you cannot just uh, imagine by yourself and put your answers don't do that mistakes whatever is there in the economic survey that is only the perfect thing okay so because of these reason it made the economic environment not so good to the growth especially manufacturing sector was hurt a lot like that they said second the base effect on account of which a higher growth rate over and above the already enormous 2021 to 2022 values could not have been expected because what happened when you come down very fastly when you grow very fastly okay then what happens is in the very next year it is very difficult to get that accelerated growth okay so it, it is nothing but uh, just imagine a point here uh, this could be understood in this way in a very clear fashion i am today i am earning like 1 lakh rupees per month just imagine a point i am earning 1 lakh rupees per month and tomorrow i left the job so i am earning zero i am earning zero day after tomorrow i got 1 lakh rupees again i got a job of 1 lakh rupees so what is the increase in percentage of my salary 100% or not because i started with again zero zero became 1 lakh then my percentage increase is how much 100% right then the very next year what happened 1 lakh became 1 lakh 10000 increment of 10% happened at that time i will not get what is my percentage increase only 10% increase getting my point here so when base basis of what in 2020 in covid the base was zero base was zero we are all in negative 2021 to 2022 we all went in a v-shaped recovery curve so that's why from the base is zero that's why we got what higher jump in growth rate then from that base uh, if you are uh, if you want to ele elevate more that is not possible so base effect is uh, and can be understood in this way already after the uh, covid the very next year we saw a enormous growth rate we saw in the gsdp then again having the same accelerated growth is not possible naturally also 2021 to 2022 our state has ranked third in terms of growth rate of nominal gsdp what else you want according to our ministry of statistic and program implementation also called as mosp they told that we are actually doing very well in all the major states we are standing third it's not a small thing in terms of what growth rate of nominal gsdp
right this chart is important students because study increase study decrease they may ask like that see clear cut is everything is given here 2014-15 year 2022-23 to 23. this is the provisional advance estimate PAE forward advance estimate you can say like that okay this is provisional advance this is provisional estimates provisional estimates are actually realized means what actually we have got the numbers okay it is done completed year that is actuals these are provisional means how much we are going to get that is a final one advance only but finalized one okay let us see now so this dark color line is telangana light color line is all india average now dark color line telangana telangana growth rate of gdp at current prices uh, for india it is gdp for telangana it is gsdp so 2014 to 15 group 1 uh, students should uh, know this particular chart because they may ask you the GSDP trends in the examination because that is there in your syllabus also. So this is what you have to explain why decreased, why increased. Okay. So 2014 to 15, 12 percent. 15, 16, Telangana grown by 14.2 percent GSDP. 16, 17 is mentioned. 17, 18, 18, 19. 1920 okay covid happened decreased complete covid 2020 to 2021 we are here okay 1.2 means 10 percent growth rate almost like 10.8 means 11 percent growth rate we came down to how much 1.2 again we got a v-shape recovery curve or not yes v-shape recovery curve is there 19.4 that's what i said that when you are at zero and we when you go for a v-shape recovery curve this is a base effect is what 1.2 is a base here so suddenly it increased means 19.4 again you cannot go more than that right not possible because base itself is zero that's why you got 19.4 this is now base so you got 15.6 you got 15.6 okay now they may ask you in the examination in which one of the following year the telangana's gsdp growth rate is lowest means 2020 to 2021 this year telangana growth rate is lowest in the same way they may ask you that highest growth rate year you can say that 2021 to 2022 is a highest growth rate year this is one analysis and you can uh, they may ask you another question that Tel telangana gsdp has been steadily growing from the last five years no where it is going steadily growing means it should be increasing increasing little bit this is called a steadily growth rate is it happening no decrease decreased increase decrease not steadily growing they may ask you another statement that telangana economy has grown from 2014 to till today yes it was 12 percent now it became 45.6 percent and if you take average also it comes extra only it comes better only okay this is we have learned with regard to what telangana now we see the all india the uh, very uh, light line so here you have to see only one thing at a time of covid uh, telangana economy decreased to positive only positive only but 1.2 percent growth rate when 10.8 became 1.2 but india has went into negative growth rate during covid minus 1.4 percent this is what you have to understand so telangana's gsdp or gdp or economy is more resilient okay more formidable with external attacks even at covid came we were like ah we have sustained the impact even if supply chain got disrupted we have sustained the impact okay so telangana has performed better than india's average during the covid we did not go to negative we at least added little growth rate little growth rate okay 1.2 so this is what you have to understand again in 2021 to 2022 telangana's growth rate is lower than India's average because Telangana's growth rate is 19.4 India's is 19.5 whereas again in 2022 to 2023 Telangana is better India's average is lesser this much analysis one should do when you are preparing for examinations like group 2 which is completely factual and where there is nothing to el uh, eliminate the students except on the basis of what some numbers 
ओके नाउ यू सी इयर इन लैक नंबर्स तेलंगाना जीएसडीपी एट करंट प्राइजेस इन 2014 टू 15 वी वर हैविंग दिस जीएसडीपी इज ओनली अवर इकोनॉमिक साइज माय डियर स्टूडेंट अवर इकोनॉमिक साइज एट दैट टाइम वाज 5.6 करोड़ नॉमिनल ओके वेर एज ट्वेंटी टू थर्टीन पॉइंट टू सो देख इन द एग्जामिनेशन तेलंगाना जीएसडीपी हैज ऑलमोस्ट डबल सिंस द टाइम ऑफ स्टेट फॉर्मेशन Till today means yes, five became almost like double ten, more than that only. Okay. If you see the India's GDP at current prices, 2014-15, India's GDP was only 124 lakh crore. When come to 2022 to 2023, it became 273 lakh crore. So 124 into two again it also doubled. So Telangana GDP over the years, okay, almost like 2014 to 2023, almost like nine to ten years, okay, we also doubled, okay, more than double happened in lakh crore, and India also doubled, okay. Obviously, our state is very small, so our GDP size is anyhow, GSDP size is very less, okay. Now, GSDP growth rate at current prices for general states, you can see that we are ranking 13. Sorry, we are ranking third, nineteen point four percent. The the state very common question. The state which is ranked number one with regard to GSDP growth rate is Odisha, twenty point five, followed by Madhya Pradesh, nineteen point seven. Okay, anybody uh, who want who has uh, Andhra students, they can give the data of this one, because this is the government of India uh, um, report. So no need to worry about it. This is anyhow factual. Telangana contribution to the country's GDP is also very nicely going. At one point of time, one point of time, we were contributing at a time of state formation. When we, when the state was formed in 2014, we were contributing only 4.1 percent. Means total India's GDP, we were how much contributing? 14, uh, 4.1 percent. Nothing but, nothing but, in 273 crores, our contribution is only 13 crores. 13 lakh crores in 273 lakh crore our contribution is only 13 lakh crores i am just taking the, taking the round figures so this comes to let us suppose 4.1% only we are contributing to india's gdp at a time of state formation but in the latest economic survey in 2022 to 2023 we are contributing 4.9% means our size has increased or not yes our economic size have increased obviously Okay, so you can see that 4.1 became 4.9. So it is a very good indicator that we are progressing at a faster rate. In 10 years, we are adding one one uh, percent more economic size to our state. It is a very good. In 2021 to 2022, the state became the seventh largest contributor to the national nominal GDP. Okay, among the 13 general state with data availability, data is anyhow there. In 2021 to 2022, we were seventh largest. In we were seventh largest. Remember this point. This is the latest. In growth rate of GDP, we are third. Remember this point. Odisha is number one, followed by Madhya Pradesh, then Telangana. Growth rate that is. But in terms of size, we are the seventh largest contributor to India GDP. So this much of lot of factual data is there. Okay, fine. This is a part one that I have discussed. Okay, and I will discuss the part two. Almost like lot of big lectures are there. So yeah, anyhow. Uh, uh this is the pdfs of all this you can purchase from the link given below and i'll continue in the part 2 thank you